Hi everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel where we talk about Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. First of all, apologies for not publishing videos for some time. I was super busy with moving to another country and settling in, but now hopefully I can focus more on making videos. With that, in today's video, I wanted to focus on Power BI's latest update that came out yesterday. I think it was yesterday or two days ago. Among many things, what caught my attention was the introduction of formatting for visual calculations. In one of our previous videos, I talked about visual calculations when they first got introduced. A visual calculation is a DAX calculation that is defined and executed directly on a visual. It does not exist in your data model. Instead, the calculation lives in a separate visual. You can create separate visual calculations directly in a visual. Let me quickly show how to do that. Since visual calculations is a preview feature, before you can use them, you need to enable the feature in the options. So what you will do first is you're going to go to File, and then Options and Settings, Options, and then in the Preview features right here, you're going to scroll down and enable Visual Calculations feature. All right, so you'll click OK. And once you do that, you will have to restart your Power BI desktop. Please do that. And when you open Power BI again, you will see a new feature added to the Calculations section uh, on your Home tab right here, Visual Calculations. Now let's take a look at my sample report. In this simple report, I have three simple measures, total sales, total cost, and total quantity. These are simple DAX measures. A cool thing about visual calculations is that you can use existing DAX measures to create new visual calculations. Let me quickly show that. So I will select the matrix visual and then click new calculation. And when I click on this, I will see a new window open up on the bottom part of my screen. And in this window, you can create new visual calculations. For example, it says calculation. You don't have to write DAX formulas here. It's much easier and code free interface. So let's create our first visual calculation, which is going to be, let's say profit. I can make this a little bigger. And that is going to equal to basically total sales minus total cost, like that. And just like that, I have a new measure, not a measure, but a visual calculation created in my matrix. Let's create another one. Let's create another calculation so I can click onto this on this window. And what I can do, if, if you want to use predefined suggested calculations, you can click onto this FX button, and that's going to give you a list of uh, visual calculations that you can use. So for example, let's do running total. And this is going to give you a template where all you need to do is to replace the field with your actual field which is total sales. I do that, and now I have the running total created. Notice how simple it is to create a measure, a visual calculation, sorry. Now, if you want to create manual DAX calculations, you can also do that. So let me create our third measure, which is going to be called profit percent. And that will equal to divide where I'm going to be dividing profit and I'm going to divide that by total sales like this. And that's going to show me a profit percentage. Now this is all great, but before this month update, you could not change the formatting of these visual calculations as good as they were. If you cannot change the formatting of a visual calculation, it's a deal breaker. That's no bueno you cannot really use it in a real report without the formatting. And now this has finally changed. And now we can do formatting on these visual calculations. To do that, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go to the format your visual 
And then in the general, under the general group, I have a new group of properties data format. And when I click here, I can choose which visual calculation or measure I would like to format. So let me select profit, which was my first visual calculation. And under the format section right here, I can put a dollar value, a number, a thousand separator and a dollar value. And pay attention how my profit visual calculation is now properly formatted. It has a dollar value and a thousand separator. Now let me choose the profit percent, which was another visual calculation. And I can do number dot number and then zero percent. And now my profit percent measure is also properly formatted. Oh, I, I, I forgot to do the running total. We can quickly do that. So that's going to be the same as uh, the previous measure. So a dollar sign, number, uh, comma, and then number. And now all of my three visual calculations are properly formatted. Just like that, you can format visual calculations similar to measures. I honestly think this is a big deal and makes visual calculations a real feature that many will now start using. Before the formatting option got introduced, like I said, it was not the same thing. It was still a raw feature, not for real reports. But now things have changed and this is great. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.